Hello and welcome back to Infinite Remote Control. I'm John and here we have the F800. Not the S800, but the F800. It's a DJI F550 with extended arms made by RC Timer that turns it into an 800 millimeter hexacopter. So it's similar in size to the S800, but the performance isn't quite there or it's not quite there yet. Um, everything is very strong. These uh, arms have no flex in them whatsoever. They're very bulky and as you can see it makes the motors uh, They're just dwarf in size compared to these arms, but they do bolt on there perfect uh, So I have the 10 inch props right now With the stock DJI motors. I'm running RC timer 45 amp ESCs and you'll find out why in a second um, And I'm also using a zippy 8000 milliamp hour 4s and with that I'm getting about 17 minutes of uh, good flight time. So uh, the reason that I have such high amp ESCs and the reason that I built this uh, hexacopter and 800 millimeters is because I want to be able to lift up a large 3-axis gimbal and a camcorder or DSLR or mini DSLR not quite DSLR but mini DSLR like the Sony Nex. And to do that I needed to get larger props and I needed to get bigger motors and uh, I needed to get a bigger frame size so that it was a little bit more stable with the heavier weight. So I got the 45 amp ESCs and I also got these motors. You may have seen me unbox them a little while back. Now as you can tell they're not installed on the F800 and there's a reason why. First problem that I had was uh, these watch or these nuts that it came with, they actually had plastic inside, so there was no way to put this onto the shaft. Sorry, with the prop on there, and then hold down here because the prop was covering that, and then screw it in. There was no possible way, so we actually had to drill out the plastic, which that was not too big of a deal. Uh, but it should not have needed to be done. Then, the second problem was that if you took the prop and you put it on like that, it was very difficult to tighten down because you see, you can tighten it down, but now how do you get it really tight? Because see, it's just slipping on the shaft like that. Well, you can try to hold the propeller and then tighten but everything just slips so that was the the first main problem then the second that uh, I came across as I was trying to fly it is that the shaft slips here you can see that the shaft actually uh, was pushed down and it slips you can see it moving up and down um, and that's held in place with a set screw but that set screw there's no uh, niche in the in the shaft so it can slip and the shaft actually does slip and uh, that hinders the flight and uh, it throws everything off when it slips at a high RPM and then it falls out of the sky so right now I tried to tighten the set screw and it stripped out and I tried to loosen other set screws and they stripped out because it looks like they put in some sort of Loctite or uh, thread locker in there so that it wouldn't slip um, but since it's only a one millimeter set screw is not even a 1.5 millimeter it's so small that it easily strips out um, so right now to get this thing back up and flying I need to find some sort of way to bond the shaft to the can of the motor uh, if you guys have any ideas as to how I could do that what kind of glues I could buy I've tried some uh, super glue but that didn't really work it just came right off the the aluminum because it's it it doesn't have anything to grab onto. Maybe I'm gonna have to take some sandpaper and uh, make it really rough and then maybe try that. So that's where I'm at right now with this project. Yes, it flies. It's 800 millimeters and it's running the NASA V2, no problem with the uh, stock gains for the hexacopter. Everything is perfectly fine. I just need to get these bigger motors working so that I can put on my gimbal, camcorder, FPV, and then I'll have an epic aerial photography machine. Uh, but for right now, this is where I'm at. And look out for some other videos 
of this F-800 as I continue to build it up and eventually get it flying. Uh, yeah, so if you guys do have any idea as to how I can bond that, any comments or suggestions would be really appreciated because uh, I don't know what to do. But I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.